Hey, you're here to know how to transfer uh, your contacts from your previous phone, uh, Nokia, Sony Ericsson, whatever, to your iPhone or Android. I had this problem a week ago and it was a nightmare. I spent the whole night trying to transfer the files. There are a lot of good softwares out there. The problem with them is either they're very expensive, um, there's one called iNoki, really, really good software, but it's 20 pounds for goodness sake. That's a lot of money uh, for basically for such software. Software, it's, it's very simple software. And there is NBU Explorer, it's very good, but the problem with it is you really get it from, it's, you have to download it and um, uh, install it. The problem with it is just basically these sharing websites, ridiculous, just you get a lot about like 10 download buttons in the website, you don't know which one to, to use basically. So uh, I spent three hours and I made the whole lot on the browser. The most important thing is that you have your NBU file on your computer. NBU is na uh, Nokia backup file. So you get this file and you transfer through the, this page or the page that you've got in, in the description down. Um, you transfer or you convert this NBU file into a V card. V card is what iPhone understands. Now, NBU iPhone doesn't understand it. So the way to do it is you need PC suite and your Nokia phone, you connect the phone to the computer and transfer these contacts as NBU file to your computer. There's a link in this page on to how to do it as an external link. So once you have the NBU file, then you're nearly there, you're able or soon going to be able to transfer your contacts to your uh, iPhone or Android. Right, I did actually uh, generate an NBU file. This is the file for my contacts. If you want to see the content of this, it's just a text file. Just go to your notepad. Notepad is via, you know, the start button, then you go to accessories, so many softwares, and from the accessories, you open notepad. And all what you do is just you drag, drop this file, and you'll get all the contacts. I've got about 700 contacts. It's a huge file. Right, you have your MB file. As uh, you've seen, all what you do is just copy this text, Control A to select it, Control C to copy it, and you go to this page, which you find it in the link, and simply you will find the actual video in this page and you'll find a space is a text area just come and basically paste this contacts now all what the software does basically is to convert takes the most important things which is the numbers the names and generate um, a V card file so all you have to do is just press generate V card you see here of okay, course you notice that that downloaded actually the um, VCF file, which is a vCard file. I've used um, Google Chrome as a browser and Google does download the file, the uh, VCF file easily on my desktop. Um, if you've got Explorer, it might just ask you to download it somewhere, so you need to know where you've saved your file. To see the content of this file, just open Notepad again, drag, drop this file. You see a lot tidier uh, contacts. This format is what iPhone understands or what Android understands. Now the last step, the most important step is how to transfer and take these files to your um, iPhone or Android. Very, very simple. You've got the VCF file on your desktop somewhere. Uh, just send it as an email, as an attachment through your email. Uh, that's it. So if you send it to your email, then actually, let me just show you, and then open the um, that email in your uh, mobile phone. So this is, for instance, here is, uh -oh, yeah, uh, you will find the attachment. Uh, this is a test file. It will just tell you add. Uh, I just this is an example. Two contacts. Add two contacts. Create a new. That's it. Sorted. There, there. On one file, you will be able to send all your contacts. Just that file, the VCF file, will contain all your contacts. Once you open it there. Just say save all contacts and, and that's it. It'll be done. Now this is the advantage over the other methods because there are methods where you can um, copy the contacts 
uh, to the memory and then to your phone. I had a problem with this. You might not have it. I don't know. I had a problem that I needed to copy every single contact on its own. It's just a nightmare. Too many contacts. Um, this one does the whole job in one go.